it's Frederica and I'm back with another video. It's been about three weeks since I've done the how to and style secrets uh, video for you. So I'm back with a part two. And like I said before in the video, I'm going to just like make it into a series because I think it'll be beneficial for you guys. Um, and it also it's beneficial to me because it's always good to like revisit what I'm doing in my style and just find out like what I can tweak and what I can't tweak. Um, so I have a lot of like style tips and secrets that I have personally used on my own and also people that I admire like celebrities and you know just people that I think just dress beautifully you know what I mean they also have come up with these tips too so it's compiled with some of my styling tips that I use on a day-to-day -day basis and styling tips of like celebrities and things like that and you can just find fashion inspiration everywhere and we'll talk a lot more about that as i get into the video so if you're new here i do thrifting videos affordable fashion um lifestyle vlogs beauty skincare, how to and style and family vlogs so if that's your kind of thing please feel free to subscribe to me um i'm doing the youtube journey now i'm having so much fun doing these videos for you guys and creating great content so i just need you to subscribe if you're looking at the videos i need you to please subscribe it's free doesn't cost you anything and you just look forward to getting great videos i know i like watching great videos on youtube i have so many subscriptions it's ridiculous you know um so let's just get right into the video and um let's see Look at my notes here. Um, okay. Uh, the first one is like, don't be afraid to play with color. So maybe that's why I wore this colorful outfit today. Uh, this is a Ralph Lauren dress, by the way. And I got it at Macy's. Um, it's very cute. I'll put some pictures of it probably in the thumbnail so you can see it. And I was a little bit chilly, so I just threw this little hoodie over it. And... Um, I think I don't I think it's by RBX the hoodie is so um, just like an athleisure wear brand this one is RBX or RBK oh RBK I think yeah which is a Reebok brand I believe um, so don't be afraid to play around with color if you have been afraid to play with color then summer I think is the perfect time to kind of implement putting a little bit of color into your style because me I used to wear a lot of black like all the time and then I finally got out of that and I find out like being more colorful helps me to kind of just figure out what my style is and just kind of makes me happier overall. Not that if you wear a lot of black, that means you're sad and, you know, person or anything like that. Because I don't, I don't believe that. I think I like black because I think black is just so stylish. I'm, you know, like a great pair of like black sneakers or black gym shoes, sneakers, gym shoes, same thing, but a black pair of shoes or sneakers can kind of actually go with anything in your wardrobe, you know? So that being said, if you have some black sneakers and then you have the black shoes, then that can go with anything than soak in a black outfit. So that's not to say like you wearing all black or wearing black, you know, is your favorite color is bad because honestly I was there and it took me a while to kind of transition into um, wearing different colors. And then that's when I was like, okay, you know, there's different things out here. There's colors. So that's what you have to be. Know that your styling, how you style yourself is based on like how you feel too. So um, some of that is true. And then some of it is not when it comes to wearing black. I just never felt that way about black. I thought it was just like really cool and stylish. And, you know, if you want to put a pop of color in there, you can. So, but in the summertime, you can kind of really just play with color. You might as well. It's the summer it's breezy, it's warm, why not? Uh, but then you can also play with it in the fall too, fall and winter months. But you can just add one little piece of something, even if it's a scarf or something like that, or a pretty belt, just add a pop of color to maybe, you know, a color that you really are drawn to the most and just try it out. That's the best way to do it. Um, your style can be different every day if you choose for it to be. And basically, that's true. Like, now, I'm, like, dressed all sophisticated or whatever. But tomorrow, you know what? If I had my daughter's basketball game, if we weren't in a pandemic right now, you know, and I was going to practice and taking her to practice and running all over the city doing this and picking up kids and this and that, I may not want to dress as sophisticated as I am right now, you know, for this video. I might want to 
dress down a little bit and maybe put on uh, my go-to outfit, you know, or just wear like uh, an athletic shirt with actually some joggers and a pair of sneakers and I'm good to go. So um, your style, it'll vary from day to day. So just get used to that. Don't just think you have one specific style like this is it. This is all I got to just stay in this style, you know, and that's how you get into a style rut too. If you consistently dress the way, you know, the same way every day, day in, day out, day in, day out, you have to try something new because that gives you a lift in your personality and it also gives you a lift in your wardrobe. And then if you're trying different things and you're being more creative in your outfit, then you'll probably take a look and be like, wow, you know, I never thought I looked cute in this or I didn't know how good I felt, felt, felt in this color. So then you go ahead and you try it and then before you know anything, you got a whole new style. Let's see what else. The notes keep disappearing, guys. I don't know why. But anyway, um, your clothes can actually change the way you feel about yourself or how others see you. And basically what I mean by that is you're not dressing for anybody else. You're dressing for yourself. It's true. But if you have a job interview, you don't want to be perceived as, you know, somebody that's like sluggishly wearing something that doesn't look good on you or it's not fitted well. And, you know, you want to put your best foot forward, as they say. So you want to dress the best that you can so you can grab the job. You know what I mean? Uh, because there's other people out there competing with you for that same job, possibly. You know, or if you have an event to go to, you want to make sure that you look the best. So you want to put your best foot forward in, in every instance. So that's why it's best to dress good, but you're not dressing for anyone else. You're dressing for yourself. So dress for yourself first, but then dress for the occasion is what that means. Let's see what's next. Um, also, stay true to your authentic self. And if you're dressing for trends, remember that trends do disappear. Okay? So if you're dressing for a trend, don't just play into the trend. If you like maybe one aspect of the trend, that's fine. Try it out. You know, but still you need to dress authentic to what your style is, what your personal style is, and what your personality is. Because if you're just dressing for a trend and it's out the door tomorrow then you're stuck with a trend that really doesn't fit or suit your style whatsoever. So that's just a waste of your time and your money if you went and bought something new. Um, okay. Oh, fashion inspiration can come from anywhere or any person. That's so true. That's what I love about Instagram and um, like different m magazines. I'm like, honestly, guys, I'm a magazine collector too. That's another thing you don't know about me. I have had magazines, some of them, for like 10 years, 5 to 10 years. And you'll be like, well, what in the world would you have those magazines for? Because you know what? I find inspiration in those magazines. You know what I mean? I find something creative to talk about or I have something creative in my styling that I can do. Or like, you know, if I'm creating an outfit for my Instagram account or my Fashionmates account, then that gives me something to just kind of just think up here creatively out of the box. I'm like, oh, this is so cool, you know, like, I think they'll like this, you know. So that that's the way you have to play up your style. And just think about those things when you're, you're dressing. Um, everything counts. Oh, also Pinterest. Pinterest is pretty good on that, too. Like, if you have a Pinterest account, you can actually utilize it to save things that you want. It's almost like coupon clipping, but really not. It's like fashion clipping and you can make your own style boards on there, whatever you have, you're inspired by and find various pictures and then clip it to whatever style board you have. It's really a cool app. So if you get a chance to check out Pinterest, I suggest you do it and um, you get mountains of inspiration if you don't want to buy any magazines, you know, um, or anything like that. Because like I said, I'm a magazine collector and I honestly, have magazines I've had for five to ten years, you know, and they just, I find so much inspiration. And usually what I don't do is I don't read them right away and like I'll see them and then I'll get preoccupied. I'm busy doing something else and then I'm like, oh, so then if I have looked at it and it was so long ago, it's like it's coming back to me like, oh, yeah, 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 that's right. That's a good idea. But I don't remember it because honestly, I read it so long ago that I need to refresh myself by rereading it. It's just like when you have a good book. Um, 
Six, pay attention to the smaller details whenever you're getting dressed. So what I mean by that is if you have smaller details, then don't pay attention to like the bigger detail. Like, okay, you know what you're going to wear. That's the big detail. But what about that barrette you might want to put in your hair? What about the purse you want to wear, you know, with that? What about the necklace and the accessories and the rings, you know what I mean? Or, you know, those are kind of like the smaller, intricate details of your wardrobe and how good you're going to look. What kind of sunglasses could you pair with this, you know, to make this outfit take it to the next level, you know, so to speak. So in styling, just make sure you try to just do the best you can and just take your steps to the next level. And if you have any style questions, please feel free to comment. I did put something out on Instagram, but I think it was too late and you guys probably couldn't get any questions to me. So um, I just came up with some more how-to and style secrets and tips that I know will be beneficial to you all as you try to get dressed, you know, uh, for summer and going into fall. I'm also going to do a summer into fall, transitioning into fall lookbook because there's a lot of things that people don't know that they can use summer into fall styling and it'll look just as good as it did in the summer as it will in the fall. Uh, let me see. Okay, your style should be your own work, and you have to make it better each year. Okay, your style is basically your own. So, basically how you dress in college is not how you're going to dress when you graduate. Because, you know, you're trying to be a successful person, you're out here trying to get a job, you, you're doing so much now, you know. So, like, maybe that little jeans and t-shirt that you were, like, popping in and out of class in, it's just not going to work. you got to step up your game. So when I'm saying that, that means you're going to have to try to find the best outfit that you can to look your best. You know what I mean? Because you want to get a job. You want to be successful. You want to like put your best foot forward like we said earlier in the video. So if you go to them in an interview and you're just wearing like t-shirt and jeans, you know, they're going to not take you seriously. So you want to be taken seriously. So you want to come with a nice business suit, you know, the nice uh, little briefcase if you can find one. Um, you know, or a really nice purse with your resume and a nice little uh, portfolio type thing. So you can be taken seriously when you go on these interviews after you graduate. So you're basically stepping up your game. You're not going to dress the same way you did in college or we don't dress the same way we did in high school as we progress into college. So, you know, it's like that. It's an elevation of style, so to speak. Now, for the days that you are not feeling well, and we all have those days, right? Sorry, I'm looking at my notes. But um, for the days you're just not feeling well, you need to have a go-to uniform, okay? So my go-to uniform basically is like a denim shirt, joggers, a jacket, sneakers, and a purse, okay? That gives me that feeling like, okay, I'm still put together. I'm put together, but I'm just not, I'm not going the whole nine today because I'm not feeling it, you know what I mean? So have a like a go-to outfit in your closet like in those days where you just like you're just not feeling your best but you got to get out the house you got things to do just have that go-to outfit ladies because if you got that go-to outfit lovelies you are gonna be in the know and people still won't be like oh what is wrong with her today you know what I mean like she didn't even try you know you don't want them to say that so you want to always look like you tried so if you had that go-to outfit in your closet you're going to be good to go. Uh, let's see. And 11. Mm. Okay, yeah. If you see someone who looks nice in something, and this has happened to me a lot of times. Like, I'll, I'll see someone or they'll see me and they'll be like, oh, I like this and that that you're wearing. Like, one time I have this really nice black and white trench coat. Oh, and I shouldn't have. I'm going to show that in my best thrifted finds for you guys. I literally got it for... Uh, a little of nothing as a Salvation Army. I don't remember how much I paid for it, but it is such a black and white, it's such a pretty black and white trench coat. Oh my God. And she asked me about it and I was like, oh, thank you, you know. But I didn't tell her where I got it from. But, because I was like, I didn't want to tell her. But anyway, um, I will tell people where I got it from. Like, I'll tell you guys, you know, but I just didn't tell her because I didn't figure she was the type of person who wanted to, like, visit 
the Salvation Army. But, you know, it doesn't matter. To me, I shop anywhere. I have no uh, regards to where I shop. As long as it's a nice place and I think they're selling nice clothes and they take care of the clothes in there, I will shop there. That's me. I'm, I mean, like I said, fashion is found everywhere. Places you wouldn't even think to look. There's fashion, you know, everywhere. Okay, um, yeah, so if you see someone that looks nice, compliment them and ask them where they got it from. How else can you find out their style tips, you know? Okay, um, also, another thing about being comfortable. If something doesn't fit, ladies, don't wear it. Don't wear it. I mean, I don't even feel comfortable wearing something that's so, so, so tight that, like, it hurts my stomach when I sit out. What about the times you go to a restaurant or you're going out for dinner and you're trying to eat and you cannot even think about sitting down because your pants are just too tight because your stomach is just like when you eat the slightest little anything, those pants are going to pop open, you know? So make sure that you are not wearing something that doesn't fit you anymore because that's just going to make you uncomfortable. You're going to hate whatever event you're at, you know what I mean? So if you're out, out, you've outgrown it or whatever, donate it or sell it. Donate it, sell it, or give it away. Those are the three things. Donate, sell, give away. Um, that's the best thing to do instead of you wearing something and you're just feeling totally uncomfortable. And, you know, that is not going to make you put your best foot forward and trying to elevate your fashion game. And number 13 on here. Okay. It's okay to show off your best features when you're dressing up. So a lot of people feel like, oh, I, I can't accentuate this. You know, some of like the heavier chested ladies, they may not want to accentuate that. But accentuate what you think your best features are, you know, in, in, a, in a nice way, in a sophisticated way, in a classy way. Um, also, if you think your legs are your best attribute, show those legs off. You know, if you have curves show your curves off you know there's nothing wrong with that i think as ladies we should accentuate uh what god has given us basically you know in a in a in a in a tasteful way so to speak okay it's always a tasteful way to display your god-given gifts you know um dress okay also dress for your personality for that particular day so what i'm saying about that is if you're not feeling like dressing so like high fashion, then don't dress that way. Dress for the personality that you feel that day. If you feel like being more comfortable and, you know, like snug or whatever, that's why we have that go-to outfit in the closet. Have a couple of go-to outfits because if that one is dirty, then you want to be able to grab another one. You know what I mean? The, the first go-to. So at least have two or three go-to outfits like that you don't even touch. It's just for those days that you know you are just not feeling it. You don't want to do it, and you have a different personality that day. The personality you had yesterday is different from the personality that you're displaying today. So, uh, I hope these style tips have helped you guys, and um, I look forward to doing more of these videos with you ladies, and I just hope to bring a smile to your face. Don't forget to subscribe, subscribe. There's so many people coming and watching my videos, but you guys are not subscribing. I can't... Thank you enough for watching my videos, but please take that extra step and subscribe to me. I have great content. Um, it's all about fashion style, how to, self care, um, family vlogs, you name it. You know, um, we answer questions, we do self care, skin care, everything on this channel. So, primarily, I'm on affordable fashion and how to and style. So, that is my gift to you guys to show you how to dress affordable on a budget and still look good and feel your best. And that's it for tonight, lovelies. Um, I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe, subscribe, <laughs> like, comment, and thank you so much. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.